guys, welcome to part 6 of the Adarini Crossbow Build Guide. Tonight, we're on the Crossbow Bolt Retaining Strap. I call it the, the, the Retaining Strap because I don't know how, where else to call it. This part by you fits into your um, uh, Adarini to retain the bolt. So, I already assembled this, right? And I took photographs earlier to show you how your parts are to be laid out, which I'll include here now. Okay guys, right. The first thing you're gonna need is your safety catch. This is the release catch for the magazine for the pivot. You'll need your tiny spring and it slides into the housing. Now, Again, depend on your 3D printing. You may have to file out inside the recess I had, which I had to do, okay? And again, as with the, the rest of all the contact parts, apply a little bit of grease, Vaseline, because this is a contact part, and just slide it in with your grease, grease spring ready in its housing, okay? So, one grease spring in there. Then you've got your clamshell. This is the one, one side of your clamshell, other side of the clamshell. You will need to fit this uh, nut in here, compress this, this nut into the side, and run the one screw in uh, ready so it's just flush. Okay, and here's the other side. Now what you need to do here, take your little safety catch, there's a ridge seat just there for it to sit in. Push it home, lock it in. If I was you as well, this trough for you, I'd apply some Vaseline or grease down there as well to make the, the catch run smoother. Okay, so I locked in in Vaseline. I place them at the other side. Right. Next stage is spring housing for you for your larger spring. This spring sits in there. Thus, okay. Same again. Vaseline your trough or grease your trough. I use Vaseline because that's what it recommends on the, uh, the bill guide. So lubrication inside there. You'll also want to lubricate around your pivot as well by there because that's a contact surface. And again, any contact surfaces causes friction. And if you limit the friction, it makes for a smoother operating device right now I'm not putting the spring in yet I put in the two halves together first like so okay now you want the small number one type screw to fit in through this magazine I'm just going to press pause because there's no point in you, you watching the top of my head while I screw it in. Okay. So this screw is now in. Your safety catch release is there. And as you press it, release the trigger. You can see now. So it's only a little bit of movement because it doesn't need much pressure to lock it in place. It's actually a very good design. The next thing you need to do now is push your retaining spring inside. It can be a bit tricky. Now see now why I've already fitted this screw beforehand, because when you push this lever in here, it'll naturally wanna push it back out. I'm gonna need both my hands for this, so again, this is gonna be another cut. Okay, I'm back. Now, what you should be left with is something Looking like this, which I showed you earlier, with the pivot working 
nicely on the front and well lubricated. You lubricate a catch. And then you've got your main pivot, which goes through your body here. Now, is it up to you? Um, I Myself, I lubricate this, I put some Vaseline. Um, just make sure everything is uh, nice and tight, lubricated. Um, just give a little, tighten up now. Make sure everything's running as it should be. Okay, that's nice. And a little smear of uh, Vaseline on either side. Now to go through the body, you'll need one of your longer screws. So I just find the right one here. Okay, when you're fitting, you will notice there's a hole on this side and there isn't on this side. It's another blind, the same as for the trigger. So you're gonna need, not your full length screw, approximately your half, half length screws. Now what I'd recommend is, because this has to pivot, um, obviously, to release the magazines in and out. So before you fit it, run a screw through to clean out the threads. Okay guys, now what are you going to be doing now? As you can see, I already pre-run the bolt in to give me a nice smooth run through. The bolt I've run through the retaining arm and pushed uh, grease into the pivot hole so that way when the bolt runs through it doesn't bite hard and you can feel when it bites home into the blind mount on the side of the magazine. Because if you're driving through the plastic from the magazine retainer um, as you push the bolt through, you push in that debris through into the blind hole which you need to cut with your screw. And it makes you feel like you're biting into material and you're not. Okay, so I'll show you now the best way to do this. You run your screw through, you clear out the crap from in the moulding, push it in, lock it in place. Now, run your screw in um, and put some more Vaseline in the threads. That way, the pivot works freely and the, the, the thread won't bite into the plastic. Okay guys, and here we have it. We have the, the, the screw now is in place. Don't go crazy with this front screw because it's only biting into the plastic. Just feel it, so just, just using a small Allen wrench, Allen key, you know the ones you've been using. Just, so just about feel, start to nip up and that'll do. There is no real tension on this lever. Um, because this is only just to get, guide the bolts in place. So it should lock up right there. You feel the catch come round, so you can hear it. And come back down and lock in place. There we are. So a little bit tight. I could slacken off a little bit if I wanted, right? But I can't be bothered. Okay, so that's the magazine working. That's your your bow, um, yeah, crossbow bolt clamp working, your latch working, everything's working. Next step, guys, will be fitting the crossbow limb, which it means, unfortunately, you're going to do this front bolt to access the retainer inside, okay? So the next one, I'm going to do that tonight as well. And you guys will have, have your, your full set ready for the weekend. Thanks, guys. Night-night.